So the first question is if I can have your first, your last name, and spell them both out for me. Okay. Jennifer Soto, J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R-S-O-T-O. -E Mother. Mother. Jennifer, tell me how you're feeling right now. I feel like I can't breathe. All I keep thinking about is where is she? Is she safe? Is she okay? But we're we're all a wreck. My entire family is a mess. We're just so worried. When did you first realize, or when did you file a missing report? We filed a missing report. Uh, we called the police at like 4:45 uh, yesterday, 4:45 uh, p.m. But she actually went missing early that morning, around between 8.45 and 9 o'clock in the morning she went missing. Um, we had dropped her off close to the school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. We dropped her off at school, close to school. Um, she wanted to walk the rest of the way. Um, I'm not sure what I'm allowed to share. You can um, share whatever you feel comfortable sharing. I know you had conversations with detectives. Um, not sure what that conversation <clears throat> is, but whatever you feel comfortable sharing that we we'll put the awareness out there. Yeah, she was uh, spotted walking uh, by the church, by the middle school, uh, on the cameras. They saw her hang out in the parking lot for a little bit and then get up and leave. They didn't see a vehicle or anything else. They just saw her walk away uh, around 9 a.m., heading towards the school, but she never made it. Um, yeah. What has the school said? Have you given in contact with the school? Yes. Um, that they're doing everything they can. They've given me all their resources. The principal's called me. They've looked at their cameras. Cameras, um, I don't think they've caught anything on the cameras. It's too far away from the sidewalk. Everything is too grainy, so they can't see specific faces. Um, but they've looked. Um, I'm just waiting to hear anything else from them. Is this normal behavior? Not at all. To just not show up or call or text or anything? Not at all, no. Um, she, from time to time, she will leave her cell phone at home accidentally, and that's actually what happened yesterday. She left her phone at home. She went to school. Um, but that happens from time to time. She's got ADHD, uh, her memory. <laughs> She's very forgetful. Um, so, yeah, there's no way to track her right now because I have, well, the detectives now have her phone. Uh, but this isn't normal behavior, now. What was the last thing, I guess, that the conversation that you two had, you and your daughter? Um, we spoke about her birthday party. She had a birthday party on Sunday. Uh, she had a great time. Uh, I couldn't make it because I was working. But she had an amazing time. She was so happy with all her gifts. Uh, I, I told her good night, and um, yeah, that was it. I, I, I was the one who took her to school in the morning. That was my partner. Um, but yeah. Thirteen. She's thirteen years old. Yes. Thirteen, Madeline. 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 Um, what are you thinking right now? In my heart, I feel like somebody took her. This isn't like her to just pick up and run away um, or just not go to school. Um, you know, I don't know what to think. 
friends, the friends' parents, you've contacted and you went through every single person? Everyone that we know that she knows. We've contacted them all, reached out to them. The parents have gone out to search and look for her as well. And we haven't come up with anything yet. I've seen a lot of posts on uh, Facebook, um, Hunter's Creek, rants and raves and what have you. Did people um, say that they were going to conduct some type of like search party or anything? Uh, a lot of people have asked me to volunteer. Like if there is one, if they, if they can do one, um, there I have people passing out flyers, going to every store in that vicinity, a gas station, church. Um, I think people people were being stopped in the street this morning in front of the school to see if they've seen anything, if they've heard anything. My family is, they're going all out right now. Um, yeah. I know as a mother, you have, a lot is going on in your brain. Um, so much. To bring her back home. What have, what have the, the law enforcement told you that you are able to share? I mean, that they're doing the best they can. Uh, they've had detectives come out, interview us. They took a piece of her clothing for the canine dog to see if they can sniff her out. I'm not sure when that's being done. Um, do you have any inkling where she possibly could be? Like if you would say, okay, last time um, I went to work and came back, she was at James' house or, or, or Sabrina's house and maybe I forgot to check that house or she played at this park one week and maybe she went back there or something like that. We've looked everywhere we could have thought and anywhere she would have been. Um, she would have known to wait for me at the school. Um, but we did check where if she could have walked. Um, my mom's office is close to the school. We checked there. We checked the walking paths that she could have taken. We've checked all of her friend's house. I, I think we've checked everywhere I could think of, honestly. What do you think? Um, oh, gosh, I just had it tip my tongue. What was she wearing? She was last seen wearing a green hoodie, black shorts, white Crocs, a black Jansport backpack with gray hibiscus flowers on it. And you said this is not like her. Not at all. To run away, an argument, anything like that to provoke her? She's never done anything like this, no. And we haven't had any arguments recently to have this outcome. What school? Hunter's Creek Middle School. Tom, any questions? No. Is there anything that you think our viewers would need to know about the way you're feeling, the way the family's feeling, Madeline? We are desperate for any answers, anything that you could do to help. I'm here for it. Just please, if. you see my daughter just please bring her home I just hope you're okay Maddie I hope you're safe I hope you're not hurt I just hope she's okay when um when did you notice that she was missing because this was at the beginning of the the morning um she got dropped off in the morning we did not notice until after school pickup at four at four o'clock when I went to go pick her up and she wasn't at school. So we're going in twenty four hours now. Yeah. Just about. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. No word. No text message. No messages anywhere from her. I've looked at all her social medias. I've looked at all her games she could have played with. Any any app. No weird conversations. No. Nothing strange. Everything was conversations with. Just normal friends or us. Did she knows how to get home by herself? As if, like, let's just say, take a, to take a bus or an Uber or something like that? She would know how to get home alone, correct? I'm not sure. 
I don't know if she would know how to get home. Maybe, I mean, if someone, I'm thinking if someone got in the car with her and, and if she pointed the way, what roads, she probably could figure out how to get, but like, does she know her full address? I don't think, she, I don't think she does. Which would give me the, which, I mean, it just puts in my brain that she always comes home with with someone. She always comes home so with there's me. there's no need for her to really exactly. learn. Okay. And you said no time? I think that was everything. All right, the first question is if I can get your first and last name and spell them both out for me. Stephen Stearns, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-S-T-E-R-N-S. All right, so Stephen, you seem very emotional right now. Explain to us. I dropped her off. Everything looked fine when I drove away. It's the last time we saw her. What were the conversations that y'all had in the car when you dropped her off? Not much. She was asleep for most of the way. Told her have a good day at school when she got out. I love her. She said, thanks. Love you, too. That was it. And so where, where do you think she could possibly be? I mean, this isn't, as I was told, this isn't normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. She's not the type that would just run off. We don't know where she can be. We're scared. We just want her home. Are you, in a sense, blaming yourself? It's hard not to. Why? I dropped her off early. I could have waited longer. She looked okay. She was walking towards the school when I saw her. It was like any other day, so I went on with my day. It's hard not to blame myself. What has the conversation been with Jen since? She's been very, a lot stronger than me. She's been holding it together really well. And, uh, but it just keeps coming in waves. Just the reality keeps hitting. We don't know where she is. We don't know if she's safe. We're just scared. We just want her home. Have you like literally put boots on the ground, went out? Yeah, I even went out with the cops uh, where I had dropped her off. And we looked all up and down the road, all along the communities, and there was nothing helpful. None of the cameras were pointing the street. Nothing, which in 2024 was surprising. The church across the street had some cameras, and they mentioned seeing her waiting around in the parking lot for a while before moving on and that was it but it was grainy it was grainy footage and not much not much else does it seem like she walked west east uh, they said in the direction of the school i'm not sure what that is what was the language not language verbally language body language when you dropped her off that she seemed happy was happy. she like i'm going to meet she my friends happy. She had a happy weekend. She just turned 13. She had a 13th birthday party. She was happy that we were all together here. And she's just very happy. She was a happy kid. She's very sweet. She's a very sweet girl. She brings a lot of joy to us. And we just, just not knowing. So the unknown is killing you? Yeah, it's like our whole world is upside down. Not feeling her presence here is. I'm sorry. It's hard. I know you're fine. Don't no need to apologize. Um, what do you want our viewers to know when they see some when they see this? She's a sweetheart. She's a very sweet, kind girl. Just please be nice to her. Bring her home if you find her. Tell her that we love her. Wherever she is, I hope she's okay. I mean, if someone were to come in contact with her and you gave me her diagnoses, would it be easy to approach her without any, like, agitation or anything? Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's a good kid. She's a good kid. If you can sum up in one complete sentence, waking up, getting ready to drop her off at school, dropping her off at school, to now speaking to me after talking to the police about her being missing for over 24 hours right now. In one complete sentence, what would that be? 
a living nightmare. It's a living nightmare. Day started off like any other. And, you know, I just want to wake up. You just get hit with waves of the reality, just it's setting in. As soon as it got dark last night, we really, we started falling apart. Cause we knew it wasn't going to come to an end. And now we're going on 24 hours and still nothing. Just conflicting reports here and there. People say they see this or that. None of it's conclusive and none of it's helpful. We just want a baby girl back. Tom, any questions? No, I'm good. Thank you.